Hey, what's up guys, it's the Mitch Meister here, and this is actually the second ever game I played on GAL 3. Now I know you're probably thinking, why are you showing us the second ever game you got on GAL 3, and also why are you doing this so late? Obviously most people upload, say, their first ever game when the game first comes out, and you know, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> but, I didn't have a headset or a microphone when the game first came out, so... I was going for like montage clips and stuff like that, but I couldn't, well, my first gameplay was really boring. I joined halfway through the game, so it wasn't a full game. I think I get sawn off a couple of times. I don't really know, to be honest, but it weren't very good. But this second game seemed to be okay. I've edited the best bits out for you, so you can, you know, watch it for what it is. It's actually not a bad gameplay at all. I think I get a nice few headshots, and this was when I was getting used to Sniper, obviously. I had played the beta beforehand, but, you know... That was like months before, so I, I was still trying to get back into using the sniper. And yeah, it goes okay, and I get a decent score at the end. So it was definitely worth an upload, and I kind of wanted to upload it because it was sort of a memorable thing. It was my second ever game on Gale 3. That's, that's pretty pretty historical. It was like a landmark, so yeah, I definitely I definitely took, took the opportunity to commentate over it. I think I actually let Havoc Gang use this as a giveaway video as well so you might recognize it if you're not sub to if you're sub to have it gang and if you're not subbed then why aren't you subbed because you should be subbed because they're good and they're uploading a lot and a, i mean a lot of really good content soon so definitely go sub to them if you can guys but that's uh the habit gang plugging out of the way and now i'll move into the actual commentary so the first thing i want to speak to you guys about is I can finally do live comms guys, I mean I tried it with a blue yeti, I uploaded it yesterday, I'm not sure if many of you guys would have been able to see that, it's got a lot less views than most of my other videos at the moment and I think it has something to do with something called a 0% publishing glitch where it doesn't, it takes like hours and hours and hours for YouTube to publish your video and by the time it published then it was already like all the way out of the sub boxes sort of thing so if you guys managed to see that I know uh, quite a lot of people commented and like the video and stuff so thank you guys for watching it if not then I'll put like an annotation or something at the end of the video I don't normally do it but uh, if you guys have missed it and want to see that then please go ahead and watch it that'd be awesome and so yeah I've managed to do these live comms and for anyone that has watched it you'll know the gameplay isn't very good and you might be thinking, a lot of people have asked me why did you upload a gameplay that bad, even though it's a live com, because obviously you could just delete it or anything like that. And I've always said my philosophy or my outlook on live comms is you can show off and show your best gameplay on post production commentaries, but a live com for me is I don't know, I just I, I just see it as the point of a live com is anything could happen. Because when I watch a live com I I'd, I'd like to think that people would upload anything they got and therefore when I watch a video I can see whether they're going to be good or whether they're going to be bad in that particular game and I don't know before that game I don't know what's going to happen I don't know if it'll be a funny game I don't know what's going to happen in the game at all beforehand but it seems to me like a lot of live videos and the standards for live videos and stuff like that have now become uh, as almost like post-production commentaries where people just expect people to do really well and therefore commentators, what commentators are doing now, it seems, are only using good live comms and they'll scrap old live comms and then like redo it if they do badly. And I know this happens and for me as a as a viewer, I like to see ones that I'm not sure what's gonna happen and then if good gameplays happen, I respect it more. If bad gameplays happen, you know, I can find it funny or I can just react along with a person. And that's how I like to watch my videos and so that's how I'm gonna upload them. So I'm going to upload my bad stuff and my good stuff. I know I'll probably take a bit of a hit to my ego uh, uploading scores like I did last time if I get any scores like that, which I hope I never do because that really was the worst game I've ever played on Gale 3. But, yeah. So, I'm going to carry on doing that, guys. I'm going to upload any live com I get. Just because I think it's, it's, it's a bit different. It just means that there's still variety in my videos rather than them all just being good video like good gameplay videos. Um, like my post-production ones but 
yeah, guys, that's it for live comms. Also, I may as well bust out a little topic for you guys to discuss in the comment box. I'll start doing this more in my videos, and that is, I was going to do it in my live comm, but I didn't have time, and that was, if you guys could have any superpower, what would it be? Because I'm a massive superhero fan, I like that kind of thing, I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to that, and I have thought about this question many times, but I'd like to see your guys' opinions in the sub boxes or whatever, uh, not sub boxes, comment boxes, and I'll talk to you about that in the comments, so thank you very much and good night.